Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how I paint using gouache paints. Specifically, I'm going to show you how I painted this painting using a reference image. But first, I'm going to show you the materials I'm going to be using. So let's do that first. Alright, so let's begin. These are my gouache paints. Uh, this is a case I recently bought. And I have two types of gouache paints. I have a group of Arteza gouache paints that they sent me. So I can review them and I also have a few of these Winston and Newton uh, designer gouache paints I just recently bought. Now I sorted these out in different compartments and that's what I like about this case. I'm able to customize it so in this one I can place a bigger tube. I also sorted them out by color code. Some of these are warmer blues, darker blues. Alright so let's move on to the next item which is this Arches watercolor block. Now I won't be using this block today. I just want to show you that I use arches and the paper I will be using today is a loose form of arches. I've actually never used a watercolor block before so I will probably make a video of it later. So these are the brushes I've been using for gouache paint. Some of these brushes I've also used for acrylics. For example, these two I usually use with acrylic. These are my oldest brushes. I don't remember where I got them from. Somebody gifted them to me or something like that. Now these three brushes are from a set that I bought at Daiso Japan. They were very cheap for about a dollar and fifty cents. They actually work quite well though. And this brush on the right is a size zero brush and I do all my detail works with it and I got it at Michael's. Alright guys so let's begin for this first painting. I will be using a reference. This reference comes from a picture I took after a rainy day. The sun was setting and there's a unique shape of clouds in the horizon and I took a picture and this is the picture right here. Now after painting the background which is a light color I decided to paint the clouds. I'm not exactly sure why I decided to start with the clouds but it worked out well at the end. The clouds were a very unique shape and I just wanted to work in all the details. And they were also the next lightest thing. The foreground and the top clouds were the darker ones so then I moved on to those afterward. Now even though I am working off a reference my goal isn't to get the perfect most picture like painting of the reference. I'm actually stylizing it a little bit and I'm adding extra bits of clouds next to this cloud. Also I chose this picture because of the composition. You see the top clouds and the bottom foreground frame the picture really well and it looks really good at the end. Now I just need to add this darker foreground and all the details like these small trees in the horizon line and we are just about finished with this painting. So this painting is actually an older piece that I made and I posted on Instagram in the month of December last year. So if you want to get my most recent work you can check out my Instagram. The link will be on the description below. Also thanks for watching this video till the end. I will be making more gouache painting videos soon including the arches block painting video. So subscribe to make sure you don't miss out um, and leave your comments below. Thanks.